بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Dear 9th class students I once again welcome you all in my 5th video lecture You all know that we are studying the first part of this chapter that is the socialism in Europe as this chapter is having two parts the second part of this chapter is Russian revolution which we have not touched yet Dear students in the last lectures of this chapter we discussed few subtopics and similarly today we will discuss its one more subtopic that is the coming of socialism in Europe few points about the coming of socialism in Europe were made clear to you in the last lecture you know it was by mid 1850s that socialism gained wide separate support and attraction why it is so it as the socialism was against the private property and the socialists i mean the followers and the supporters of socialism described this private property as the root cause of all the problems in the european society on the other hand keeping in view the merits of socialism in mind that is the better salaries suitable environment socialism eliminates poverty and more importantly it fulfills survival needs these merits of socialism also paved the way for its rise and support in the mid 19th century my dear students socialism was a radical idea which was based on the abolition of private property and projected a dream of classless society my dear students there were a number of philosophers who provided their own ideas about the socialism and the most prominent among them was karl marx my dear students karl marx was a 19th century philosopher social theorist and he was also an economist as well so far as the theory of karl marx about socialism is concerned the theory of karl marx makes it clear that workers should make a cooperative society in which collective ownership of land and factories would be promoted according to karl marx it's a way that means socialism is a way to get rid of all ills of capitalism the meaning of capitalism is it is an economic and political system in which countries productions are controlled by private un private owners for their personal profit but if we look towards socialism it was totally opposed to the idea of capitalism the socialism was actually a method a way of organizing a society in which all the major industries the means of production were wholly and solely under the control of government what are the ideas other ideas of socialism of the different philosophers about this we will discuss in the coming lectures hope you you would have got it clear thank you have a nice day